Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be reviewing Ubuntu Budgie 1710. Now I've never actually reviewed Ubuntu Budgie before. I've never installed it. I don't know anything about the Budgie desktop environment. I've never used it. As far as I know, Budgie uh, was started by the folks that uh, developed the Solus OS, Solus Linux distribution. And I've never uh, installed or played around in Solus, so that's for a future review, guys. I need to take a look at Solus. I've been hearing good things about, about that distro. But today I'm going to be taking a look at Ubuntu Budgie because it was just released yesterday, the 17.10 version. And Ubuntu Budgie is gaining a lot of popularity. Probably the two fastest growing flavors of Ubuntu seem to be Ubuntu Mate, which is just exploding in popularity. A lot of people really love the Ubuntu Mate edition and this new Ubuntu Budgie has got a lot of traction too. A lot of people are jumping on board with Budgie. So let's get started installing it. Alright, I've downloaded the ISO for Ubuntu Budgie 1710 and I'm going to be installing it inside a virtual machine, virtual box in this case. And I'm waiting for the ISO to boot up always takes a few seconds for these these ISOs to boot up alright I think it's getting close yep there we go now just as in all the other flavors of Ubuntu that I've recently reviewed for 1710 Ubuntu Budgie has the ubiquity installer the standard installer for Ubuntu mainline Ubuntu and all the other flavors we have the option of trying Ubuntu Budgie in a live environment or we can install Ubuntu Budgie. I'm gonna go ahead and choose to install it because I don't want to waste time in the live environment. Uh, so click install. Alright, and we have the option of downloading updates while installing Ubuntu Budgie. There shouldn't be very many updates to run because this was just released yesterday. I'm gonna leave it ticked off. If it needs to be updated I'll do it after I install off camera. We also have this option install third party software. Now this is your third party proprietary graphics drivers, Wi-Fi drivers, multimedia codecs. Uh, you, you're really going to need those. I mean uh, I think 99 percent of Linux users want those third party drivers and codecs so tick that on guys. Then click continue. Well I say tick that on. If you're Richard Stallman you probably are not ticking that on. Of course, if you're Richard Stallman, you're probably not using Ubuntu either. All right, now we get to installation type, basically how it's going to write to the disk. This is a virtual machine, so I'm going to give Ubuntu Budgie the entire 15 gig hard drive on this virtual machine. Uh, if you guys need to do any kind of manual partitioning, if you're dual booting alongside another operating system, uh, or anything like that you need to click something else and then set up your partitions I don't have to partition I'm gonna give the entire disk to Ubuntu Budgie so and we get this little warning telling us it's about to write to the disk it's about to format the disk so anything that is on this hard drive is about to be wiped out of course there's nothing on it this is a virtual machine I created just for this install and we wait a second alright time zone it is correctly to chosen the central time zone in the US for me so continue keyboard layout English US that is correct we have this little field we can type here just to check things out and the keyboard is working correctly so I'm just gonna click continue now we need to choose our username. For this I'm just going to choose Budgie. Something I can remember. I usually like to name my usernames in these virtual machines after the distro. So that way I can always figure out what the username is on these. I have a whole bunch of uh, virtual box uh, images right now and the installer is running it's probably going to take somewhere between five and ten minutes for the installer to complete 
Uh, at least that's been the standard time with all the other flavors of Ubuntu 1710 I've installed in the last couple days. So I'm going to pause the recording. Alright guys, it is finished running through the installation. That was really quick. That might have been five minutes. I, I, I didn't time it, but it was just a few minutes. So the same really fast install that you're used to with Painline Ubuntu and the other flavors. Very simple, very fast installation. All right, and just as you do, anytime you install an operating system, you have to reboot the machine to complete the installation. I'm going to do that now. I'll be right back. And I've rebooted the machine. Let's see how fast it takes to boot up our newly installed Ubuntu Budgie. All right, that got to the login manager pretty fast. That just took a few seconds for the, for it to boot up. So, really nice on that. Let's see how long it takes for our budgie desktop environment to load up. All right, and this is Ubuntu Budgie. Now, guys, when I say I don't know anything about the budgie desktop environment, I'm not kidding. I've never used it. I've never read about it, never seen a video about it, I've never played around in Budgie at all so I may fumble around a bit here. Now it looks like Ubuntu Budgie has our little welcome uh, greeter here that so many distros are now doing when you first uh, install a system. So it looks like in this uh, side panel here we have our uh, updates and extras so I could go ahead and click that and I'm sure update the system drivers to install those proprietary drivers that we told it to download. I just click that and I'm sure it, it, it would uh, load up some kind of driver application where we could get our additional drivers. Let's see, we have language and input, optional tasks, customization, browser ballot, keyboard shortcuts, and then troubleshooting system specifications so a nice little greeter here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close the greeter though and I think like all the other Ubuntu flavors I've, I've reviewed recently I'm gonna go through the menu and see what applications Ubuntu Budgie has chosen to install by default so up here in the left corner we have our little menu and we have subcategories so under accessories we have caffeine Calculator, Files, Maps, let's see what map app they're using. Probably the GNOME map, uh, and I believe that is what they're using, is the GNOME map utility. Also under Accessories, we have our Menu Editor, I guess to uh, edit this menu here. We have Plank, which is a, uh, a dock, a lightweight dock. <coughs> Excuse me guys. Uh, by the way this uh, dock here on the left that is Plank. Uh, I've played around with Plank before so I know that if I hit the control button and uh, right click I should get some kind of menu to come up. Yeah, about and you can see Plank 0.11.4 so Plank is a really nice dock for those that uh, like docks. Uh, give Plank a try. It's really nice. Also under accessory, accessories we have uh, our text editor. Let's see which text editor Ubuntu Budgie has chosen to go with. G-Edit, which is the standard text editor in the GNOME desktop environment. Looks like they're using a lot of GNOME maps because the map utility I think was GNOME's and the weather app here is probably a GNOME app. I'm not sure about that though. Alright, under games we have Solitaire, Mahjong, Minds, Sudoku. Under graphics we have our image viewer, we have LibreOffice Draw, and we have Simple Scan, which is a scanning utility. All right. Under Internet, we have the Chromium web browser as the default browser. Chromium's a nice browser. We have Geary Email, which is an email client. 
again, not too many people uh, need a desktop mail client anymore, but it's easy enough to remove if you don't need it. Geary is a pretty nice email client. Transmission BitTorrent client. That's the uh, standard BitTorrent client in the GNOME desktop environment. Under Office, we have our calendar, and then we have the LibreOffice suite. We have Calc, Draw, Impress, Math, and Writer. So we, we have plenty of, of good Office programs installed. Under Science, we have LibreOffice Math. Sound and Video, we have the Cheese Webcam Booth. We have GNOME MPV for our video player. And for our audio player, Rhythm Box, which is uh, the music player in the GNOME desktop environment. Again, it looks like they're using a lot of GNOME apps. All right, system tools. We have our budgie desktop settings where we can you know, play around with the style, widgets, icons, cursors, themes. Uh, we can tick on and off desktop icons. We have fonts, windows. We can uh, customize the top panel. And then we have our auto start settings here for the programs that start uh, when the budgie desktop environment first loads. Also under system tools we have software. Let's see what kind of graphical software program they're using. Looks like they're using the exact same uh, little software center that all the other flavors of Ubuntu I've reviewed are using. I believe this is the GNOME software program. Yeah, it's just called software. So, nice little graphical way of installing, removing software. Under administration, we have our software updater. We have our users and xDiagnose, which is a uh, repair utility. Under preferences, we have background, Bluetooth, color, date and time, details. We have a disk utility, uh, keyboard settings, and, you know, your standard, you know, desktop settings and various little things you can play around with, startup application sound. Under utilities we have our archive manager for zip and unzip. We have our character maps, uh, disk usage analyzer, we have our document viewer, fonts, help, logs, we have a screenshot utility, we have a system monitor. Let's see which system monitor they're using here. Uh, it's just called System Monitors. That's got to be GNOMES. They love those simple program names. And then we got Talix, which is a, uh, I believe that is a uh, tiling uh, multiplexer for your terminal. For, for, for your ter terminal freaks out there, basically it is a way to uh, get multiple terminals in one window if you need that sort of thing. All right, so I'm going to open up the uh, file manager because that's one thing I've actually not looked at yet. Let's see what file manager they are using. They are using files. That's the GNOME file manager called Files, which is Nautilus. Nautilus is a fine file, man file manager. Really, it looks like they're using pretty much all the GNOME suite of apps, even the look and feel of Budgie has a GNOME 3 kind of look to it. I mean, you have, you know, this uh, launcher in the top left corner. You have your clock in the center of the bar here, which brings time and date and calendar. And then, you you know, you have your notifications over here. You have a dock on the side. A lot of people run dash to dock in GNOME 3, you know, which it basically it is set up very much like a GNOME desktop itself lighter even in this virtual machine you know things just move around a lot easier uh, windows open and close the menus open and close you know there's not a lot of animations and stuff to it this is not a super flashy desktop like uh, GNOME or KDE so for, for performance this should you know run fast it, it, it should it should not uh, bog down you know 
So this is a really nice desktop environment. The very first time I've ever logged into a uh, Budgie desktop. I, I really like what I see here. Uh, like I said, it mimics the GNOME desktop, you know, really well. It's still quite a bit lighter. Uh, just you know, and, and it looks good for such a simple desktop environment. It has a modern, elegant, slick look to it. You know, some other lightweight desktop environments, which I really like, like LXQT, LXDE, even XFCE, are not the most attractive desktops. You know, and I don't know what kind of theming I can do with this. Uh, you know, how customizable the Budgie desktop is. But I'm telling you, it, it, I, I'm very happy with the appearance of it. You know, I wouldn't want to change much. I really like the theme, uh, the window manager theming, the icon theme. Uh, very well put together distro, which you expect being an official flavor of Ubuntu. Ubuntu usually doesn't put out garbage. You know, they put out distros that just work. They install five minutes. After the install, you have a full working desktop that should just work. So Ubuntu Budgie, A+. Peace, guys.